Welcome to the new launch of the Secret Whisper. Now this is a mini die envelope set that you can hide your secret little messages inside. So you get one big die and then you get all the little dies in there to make the sweetest little envelopes possible. So when you open them, you have got little cascading down messages inside your envelopes okay so let's go ahead and i'll show you how to make them all right so all the components that we need are there so what we're going to do is we're going to cut the large die out of our cardstock okay so it just takes a little proportion of card it doesn't take a lot at all okay so let's just cut this out run that through your die machine. And what that's going to give you is it's going to give you all the score lines, all the detail that you need to be able to make those perfect little envelopes, okay? So, let's take this away. And what it's giving you is all your score lines that you can fold in, all your little areas that you can fold in, so that it goes inside itself, like he so. Okay, so that there is the beginning of your little secret whisper. So let's open it up. So what we're going to do, first of all, is I think I'm going to have I love you as my main message. Okay, so that there is a little verso die. So I'm going to take that inside there. And I'm going to run that through the machine. So that is going to cut all those letters into it. Okay, so I love you. Okay. So then I want to have, what shall I have? I'm going to have, ooh, I'm going to have a little love heart next, I think, because I can. So let's cut that one out as well. So let's have it dead central in there. So let's cut that out all the way through. So that's that one. Now this bottom flap folds up, doesn't it? So you've also got a die there that's got two half hearts on. And I'm going to cut that on the other side because that folds up and you want the professional edge facing you so let's put that one in as well so let's run that one through so that has given me the professional edge on the right side so when that folds up you've got the professional edge there we also need a little hole for the love heart to come through, which is this die here. So once again, we want it to be on the professional side. So turn it round and stick it on the other side. Let's take that away. So just centralise that one. Take that one down and run that one through. Now what you also get in there is a die that will just cut you the square edge out, okay? Because we want to be able to have the colour shining through those as well. So let's find that little die. It's on the one that's got the heart, okay? So I want to put purple behind there and I want to put purple behind that one there. So I'm literally going to cut two of those out. That's one. And now another one. Okay, so that's my other square. So they can now glue in to the back of that one. So I love you, I'm going to have that on the back of there, I'm going to have this one 
on the back of that one. Now, because you're so special, I want another little heart, okay? So I'm going to put the heart in there as well. So let's stick that one down as well. And run that one through. Now all these little bits that come out of them, you know, you've got little hearts left, right and centre, medium, large, down to a little bitty one that we're playing with at the moment. But you can see they are absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to flip this over now and put that other heart on the other side so that you get the hearts all flowing in the same direction. So run that one through. So because I've got purple and white, I would like my flap to have a little purple heart on as well. So let's take that little die there and cut ourselves a purple heart. So let's run that one through. All the way through. And then I can decorate my little flap. So if I take that heart out and I literally fold it in half, okay, so that that will sit onto the front of that heart there, okay, because this heart is going to come up like that. This is your lock on the front of your little envelope. So let's just add that little heart into there. Squidge it into place, let it dry for a minute or so, and then that will pop up as well. So, when you fold this all the way up, put the flaps in, close that one, close this one directly over the top, that becomes your locking mechanism, and there you've got shh, 